Whenever you decide to become yourself, you become lonely. Right. Because everyone around you wants you to be like them or they want you to be them. So when you discover that you are unique, you are special, you are important, and you decide to become who you are and achieve what you were dreaming, loneliness is the result. Uh, be, and I say this many times, and in my books I write about this, that every true vision only has one believer first. And it's the person who have that vision. Wow. And that's what makes it lonely. But what attracts people to you is when you decide that you don't care if you're lonely, you're still going to pursue the vision. That's right. So it's the, it's the desire to, to, to use your aloneness properly that makes people come to you. You're no longer alone. And so I, I have been alone most of the time. I'm lonely now because a leader is always lonely because they are out front. There's no one out there with them. When you think about it, if you have everyone around you, then you're part of the crowd. That's true. So leaders, are they live a lonely life, but they, they chose that loneliness. And that's important. You have to choose to be alone if you're going to change the world. And every great leader in history, as you study them, they really found their true self when they was alone. You know, Moses was in the wilderness. Jesus Christ was in the desert. Paul went to the desert. You know, and uh, so when you when you pursue something that that is more important than the crowd, you end up leading the crowd. Wow! Someone said you cannot lead an orchestra uh, unless you turn your back to the crowd. Think about it for a minute. <laughs> wow! That's, yeah. So if you're going to be serious. the leader, you got to turn your back on the crowd, and then you can lead life.